After Humanity confirms the existence of an afterlife, a research scientist launches a study in which volunteers commit painless suicide. Traveling from New York to San Francisco, two strangers share a rental car as they go to end their lives. First of all, the performances from the two main leads are decent as they do much of the emotional heavy lifting. Unfortunately, this movie is weak and underbaked. It's a haphazard story about suicide and reconciling past traumas. It's a bland mixture of genres and ideas that don't really come together. The movie presents a world with a definitive afterlife, but it's not interested in exploring any answers. The world itself looks too much like ours for the growing awareness of the supernatural to land. It considers how an afterlife revelation would turn society upside down, yet the focus is almost entirely on two people and the reasons for their deciding to die. Reports of mass suicide and death exist in the imagination, never manifesting during the lengthy road trip both characters take en route to the institute. The ideas surrounding death and the supernatural quickly fade into the background returning only when the road trip needs some shaking up. This is the road trip of two people that sound less and less like real people. Their warming to one another comes off as rushed, and some of the more dramatic moments between the two feel exaggerated. They simply attack each other with verbal barbs that have little external or internal motive. Both characters want to end their lives, but they don't behave like people burdened or depressed enough to want to end their lives. Their tendency for suicide and self-destruction do not manifest for the majority of the movie runtime, and only shows up quite late towards the end of the movie. The movie doesn't fully contend with their depression or the fact that their pain could very well continue in the afterlife now that afterlife is a confirmed thing. The movie glosses over answering such questions, leaning on the road trip aspect to carry the movie through to the end. Their past actions and experiences make them want to end things, but the story's own premise is about how their deaths wouldn't actually result in any meaningful end or closure, a bizarre paradox the script never attempts to reconcile. To make it worse, Practically everything in the film doesn't require this larger premise about discovering the afterlife or being willing test subjects in an assisted suicide. The film's attempts at delving into such themes as the meaning of life comes too late, leaving gaps in a story that is often trying to do too much. So much so that the finale doesn't entirely feel earned. Overall, this uneven story about the discovery of the afterlife fails to even use most of its own ideas, let alone meaningfully connects them. The overall moral perspective is not as compelling as it could be, and the supernatural elements of the story are underwhelming. We do not recommend this movie at all.